Welcome to this fly tying demonstration of the Elkara Picatus by Fishbaits Fly Box. What I have in the vise is a TMC 100 size 14 and I'm going to use some 6 aught olive unit thread. I'm going to start the thread a couple of eye lengths back from the eye. We'll cut the tag end and we'll bring this thread into the hook and then I'm going to bring the thread back up to where I started the thread. Right there. Now I'm going to take some, I have here some small copper ultra wire. And I'll take and tie that in for the rib. Try to keep it along the top of the hook shank. I take some super fine dubbing and an olive, and I'm going to dub the thread. You don't need very much dubbing, just enough to cover the thread, and you want to make a taper to the body, to the abdomen. Okay, and there I got my, ab my excuse me, now I got my abdomen done. I'm going to take and tie in some saddle hackle. What I've got here is a saddle from a Whitting 100 pack, size to size 14 hooks, and I'm going to strip the tips off of it, and then we're going to tie it in. And I'm going to take and start wrapping it to the back of the hook. Generally, you want about five or six wraps of hackle. And there's that. Now I'm going to take my ultra wire and I'm going to wrap it around the shake one time completely so I can tie that it helped me to tie that hackle down and I'm going to weave it in and out of the hackle fibers here and again about five wraps is what you need of this ribbing and try not to get too many fibers locked down or underneath the wire oh I've got too many locked down there I can see that right now so I'm going to unwrap this and Try it again. There's five. Okay, I'm gonna helicopter the wire out of there. And I'm gonna take and trim the hackle back in. Okay. Next step is to get some 
uh, elk hair and what I've got is some yearling elk hair that I have already cut and trimmed and stacked and cleaned so I'm going to take it and I want to measure it up against the hook shank Sorry, looks like I got a broken end I want to get out of there I want it to be a hook shank length long so I know right about there that's where it's going to be and I'm going to trim them and just cut them I'm going to set them up right there. Do one, two light wraps. I'm going to pinch it. Pinch this elk hair so that it doesn't roll. The elk hair doesn't spin across it. Put a few more wraps in there. And there, there's the elk here. And then I'm going to take and whip finish my tool, my fly. I'm going to take some Sally Hands as hard as nails with my body camera and coat the thread with it. Just a little bit of the thread. I'm going to take my whip finisher. Finish and apply a whip finish. Do one more. Cut my thread. Do some trim work on the fly because I got some errant. Hackle there. And there is the Elk Hair Caddis. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Elk Hair Caddis from Fish Base Flybox. Please remember to like Fish Base Flybox on Facebook, to subscribe to Lance Dean's YouTube channel and to stay up to date with Fishbase Flybox by going to fishbaseflybox.com. Thank you and have a nice day.